Um, I... Well, now, if it isn't the little saint from the vault. We've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. Okay. Um, he's armored. And it's, he's got a pistol on us. Yeah, f*** you, man. Ha! I love it when they go down fighting. You're ah! dead. There you are. Oh, there's more than one. Okay. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands with the Capital Punishment Mod List. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to start by taking a look at the Springvale sewers. Um, I don't know if the sewers are part of the Nella game or part of this whole mod here with the garage, but let's do it. It did seem to indicate that... It had a key, so it's probably part of the mod. A lead pipe. Got some dirty water in there. Bobby pins and... There was something else inside of this one crate. Yeah, there we go. What is that? 32 rounds. Okay. I'm happy to always loot ammo. I know nothing about this. I don't know what's supposed to happen. So we'll just check it out and see what the deal is. Uh, here's a crate, but doesn't have anything in it. <clears throat> this goes down into some water. Is there something down there? A briefcase. The stealth boy. All right, that was worth the little bit of irradiation that we got. Have some blood on the floor. Three oh eight. Oh, I need to go back to. Uh, Megaton, too, and check and see if we have water in our jars that we put in there. I hear something like sounding like machinery on the other side of that door. Bubblegum? Ten millimeter pistol <coughs> and ten millimeter rounds. Beautiful. Yeah, this is some kind of big control system. Harmonica. All right, so I think we've looted everything in this room. We can either go left, forward, or right. Let's go left. Okay. That's disgusting. Nothing in there. That door is blocked. All right, let's see what's going on here. I should probably have this ready in case something jumps out at us. Oh! 
Okay, that was a missing texture that threw me through the world. <laughs> and the game crashed. Well, it scared the shit out of me. At least it accomplished that much. All right, I'm back to where we we left off. And uh, let's go ahead and try this again. So I think it was that corner that we fell through. Sometimes, especially with the with the modded content, it doesn't load properly. And so you have fall through the world situations. <clears throat> but it looks like it's loaded properly now. Alright, before we go in that door, let's just Look over here. That's a big door there. There's machinery running down here. I'll take that for sure. Oh, and we crashed again. All right, we're back in the same room. Take those. Merc cruiser outfit. Fixing things. Whoops. Um... Okay, that's a repair, plus five. I don't know what the metro tickets are for. There's a rat away. We'll take that for sure. I'm just a little... 32 pistol. Apprehensive about being down here because of the crashing. An energy cell and a laser pistol. And another energy cell. Okay. Nothing in those filing cabinets. Take all that stuff. So is this just a big... area to loot a bunch of shit in? I can't get to that bottle back there. Or I wonder if it's going to be part of the the mods quest line later on and maybe we're not even supposed to be down here right now I don't know I do not know okay let's finish searching this room before we go into more rooms just getting a bunch of shit that probably just goes Oh, no, uh, wait a minute. Where are we? Electron charge pack. There we go. Vision battery. Nothing in the cabinet. This is, okay, this is where we came in. All right, so we've made a complete circle around the room. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, right, we came out this way. All right, let's go down here. I see a body down there. Oh, and we crashed, fuck. Okay, so um, I was trying to get back to where we crashed, and apparently there was something in this desk, or the desk itself, to open up, and we found something called the Maintenance Master Key in Frank's Diary. So I missed that the first time. 
All right, I'm gonna do a quick save right here. Let's see what this is about. Uh, let's see, data, miscellaneous. June 21st, our settlement was attacked by looters. Damn assholes burned nearly everything they didn't take. Frankie went off to join them. He said it was the, the new way of life or some shit. Not for me, it isn't. I don't care if I'm on my own now. I'll find a way. There was no point to trying to persuade Frankie to join me. I know Dad told me to look out for him, but I gave up on that a long time ago. June 23rd, I found a town that looks safe. I think it's Olney. We used to visit Aunt Wynn there when we were kids, but it looks different now to how I remember now that there are barricades everywhere and many of the tall buildings are ruined. I'm going to try and barter my way inside. At least I still have Dad's pre-war stash to sell. Hmm, pre-war stash. June 24th. They let me in, even sold me an empty apartment. I'm so relieved. There's still at least 20 people living here, though I hear it used to be a lot more. I even met a nice girl by the name of Kelly. We're about the same age and have a lot in common, but I can't tell if she's into me or not. I hope so. June 26th. I think tonight might be the night Kelly and I finally kissed today. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I think tonight might be the night. Kelly and I finally kissed today, and she said I could sleep at her house tonight. I'm so excited I can barely keep still. June 27. What the fuck? Seriously, I'm going to kill Frankie one of these days. That psychopathic dickhead and his new gang showed up and wrecked only last night. They killed nearly everyone. They were going to kill us, too, until Frankie had a change of heart and turned on his new gang to save us. I still don't know why he did that. June 28th, we need a place to hide, so we're going to try the key Dad left behind. It should unlock an old sewer system where Dad used to work. I wish Frankie would just fuck off somewhere else, but Kelly says we owe him, and I guess he is blood. June 29th, from early exploration, it appears that this sewer is huge, but many sections are locked down or mildly irradiated. We have decided to bed down close to the entrance, mostly because we can relock the door here. Kelly seemed to be restless throughout the night, but insisted that nothing was wrong. At least it is somewhat peaceful down here. Safe from prying eyes. I almost feel as if I have left that old world behind. July 1st. That backstabbing shit stain has done it again. Now he's stolen Kellen from me. Kelly from me. They were spending more and more time together and making excuses for me to leave. When I came back early, they were fucking. Fucking, fucking. Right there on my fucking bed. This is fucking bullshit. Without me, we wouldn't even be here. What the fuck did I do to deserve this? He's over a year younger than me and he doesn't even wash for fuck's sake. July 6th. It's been over a week in this place and it's driving me mad. Kelly won't have anything to do with me anymore and yesterday I know they were stealing my booze. I know for a fact they ran out days ago and I had four bottles left. Now they are all gone and they were blatantly drunk. This is just like old times again. Frankie kept telling me to chill out and that more will turn up and that I was being paranoid. That fucking familiar paranoia taunt again. I know whenever I leave the room they talk and laugh about me behind my back. Frankie has always been a thief and an asshole, but recently he's just going too far. It makes me think of that note I found. Is Frankie still part of an ongoing conspiracy against me? Probably, but if that is the case, does that mean Kelly was involved too? Was all this fucking set up? No, that can't be right. The world ended. This can't all be happening because of me. I need some fresh air. July 20th. I have been too depressed to keep a journal of recent events. However, Kelly's recent death is just too much to go by without note. I still don't know how she died because Frankie's story never makes sense. It seems he was trying to trade for a new gun with some ex-military people he spotted whilst scabbing. Somehow, an argument broke out. Frankie says they started it. It's always something el somebody else's fault with Frankie. They shot first, killing Kelly, and somehow Frankie escaped uninjured. I don't know why she went everywhere with him. Now she's dead, and as far as I'm concerned, it's his fault. He took everything good for me and throws it back in my face all the time like it's my fault. He thinks I'm too good and have no killer instinct. Well, one of these days, I'm going to prove him wrong. Okay quite the story sounds about like what you probably would expect from people trying to survive in an apocalyptic environment and frankie's an asshole for sure all right let's do another quick save here and that that kind of gave us a little bit of backstory about uh this place sort of kind of i guess um all right i'm gonna kind of let's see i'm gonna see if we can get back to where we were before we fell through the world Oh, another unlockable desk. Okay. Wow. Nice. Frank, another diary. Okay. Um. Let's do another quick save. <laughs> do not trust this place. Um. Let's see what that has to say. 
Oh, this is Frank's diary. This is Frankie's diary. So this is Frankie's point of view. So we're talking about Frank and Frankie. Interesting. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm not going to read this out loud. Um, so uh, I'll just, I'm going to read it silently and you guys just read along with me and pause the screen if I'm going too fast for you. Okay, so that indeed confirms that Frankie is a world-class asshole. <laughs> and it looks like he's, he killed Kelly, too, which is what I would have suspe uh, suspected. Oh, geez. Okay, quick save. Let's, uh, let's keep going here and see if we can get into that lower area this time without crashing. All right, here we go. Couple boxes here. There's a raider. I don't think that's Frank or Frankie. Hey, that's just what we need is another lawnmower blade. Um, we can't, we could open that if we took one of our magazines, but I think I want to save those for like getting back into that substation. All right. Oh, oh shit. We have ferals down here. Not good. That scared the hell out of me. Right here. Oh, oh, come on, game. Seriously, this was just getting exciting, too. <laughs> oh, God. All right. I tell you what. Um, We could do one of two things. We could keep trying to just slog through this. And, you know, obviously, I'll, I'll, I'll cut out the reloads. Cause, cause I'm kind of intrigued now. Um, or we can just say fuck it and grab whatever loot we have and go. I mean, it's 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 obviously unstable. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it isn't. So let let's keep trying it for a little bit longer until I completely lose my shit. All right, let's uh, loot that stuff again. Went over here, grabbed the lawnmower blade. Oh, 
God damn it! All right, you know what? I I'm, I'm not going to keep fighting this. I it, it's the th- one of, other than the fact that it's just obviously frustrating. You know, it takes a good thirty to forty five seconds to reload this game every time because it's got to load all the mods in, and I'm and this is just wasting too much time in real life. So, um, yeah, let's just let's just get out of here with the loot we have. At least we kind of got the story, or at least some of the story. There's probably more to it, though, where Frank and Frankie have some kind of a standoff. Um, and, you know, either they both kill each other or one kills the other or something. I don't know. But, Jesus, that sucks, too, because I'm really intrigued. Okay, we got back out of the sewers. Uh, I'm going to run up to Megaton and just sell and repair and all that, and then... Um, I think what we're going to do is, let's take a look here. I want to find that substation. So I think we'll go back to that substation that we found, um, right, right around in here and see if we can get in there, uh, for, to get the fuses that we need for our place here. And so I'll, I'll just meet you at that location and uh, as usual if something crazy happens between now and then uh, I'll capture that on camera so otherwise I'll see you guys up there all right guys I'm at the water purification plant and what I actually did was I took those six uh, bottles of dirty water that we found back down in the sewer put them in here and then a couple of moments later it put them in here as purified water so that's how that works so you have to already have uh, whoops, uh, bottled water, apparently, uh, to use these. But that's good to know. Now, now we kind of know how that works. I uh, also have some scrap metal for uh, Willard Wilson, whatever the fuck his name is, and I can't ever remember. <laughs> He's not in here, though. <clears throat> okay, that's good to know. Oh, here he is. Walter. Yeah, what is it? Gotta remember Walter. I sure am, Sonny. I have take uh, take all the scrap metal I have. Ooh. If I do this, I'll probably get good karma and get in good with the town. But I wonder if, <clears throat> if it'll also convince him to let me use that for free. Let uh. Well, f for this time, let's just sell it and see how much we make. Well, all right. That can count out your caps. Okay. That's pretty good, actually. Oh. We gained fame in Megaton even just doing that. Okay. We're up to 531 caps now. That's amazing. It is, however, 8 p.m., so... Can we still... No, yeah, it's too late for us to sell stuff here. All right, well, I mostly just wanted to show you the, how the water thing worked for those of you who were maybe curious about it, because I certainly was. What we could do so what's it going to be? is buy more dirty water from her for 90 caps. Uh, no, except... And while I'm here, let's sell her this. Oh, this has no negative effects. Okay, we're saving sugar bombs for the Ultra Jet guy. And this is... I'm hanging on to that food, too. Do you have a Meyer Lurks, a steamed Meyer Lurk? Yes, you do. I like that stuff. It tastes like lobster, for one thing. But also... Come back if you're still hungry. It doesn't have um, any negative effects. Have a good one, stranger. Oh, I guess it it does give us one rad, but it also gives us 24 hit points, which is really good, actually. How are we doing on all of that? Oh, we're in really good shape. So yeah, we don't need any of that stuff for now. We're not in the best of shape, though, in terms of our limbs. But I'm kind of tempted to let myself get irradiated enough just to fix those. <laughs> let the men, what are you women, doing? And children of the earth come forth Weirdo. Hello there. Nice to see you. 
Um, I think this is the first time we've talked to Lucy. Is it? Yeah, because we haven't done this. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, thank you for remembering. With everything that's going on, I almost forgot about it. So it wasn't like the most important thing in the world to you? That's kind of weird. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thanks so much. You need to go talk to that brother of yours. I think he's a bit unhinged. I'm just saying. That's it? You're not going to give me like a few caps or anything? Damn it, Jim. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, anytime you find yourself back in Megaton, be sure and look me up. What? That seems to imply she was expecting something else, but I didn't have any other options. You're weird, lady. Just don't kill people like your brother. I'm gonna since we have some Boy, money, I'm gonna good. I'm gonna pay him to fix us up. T tell me more about this hollow tape. Didn't he? Didn't we already do that? You got whacked. Yeah, yeah, we've already done it. Okay. Let's see. Seventy-five caps. That's not too bad. Now. Now, how did that get in there? Uh, it was a mole rat. Okay, let's open this up. Let's take our. Dirty water and put them all in here. See, it now it says purification in progress in the upper left hand corner. And purified successfully. All right. That gives us 12 bottles of purified water. That's the most clean water we've had since we started this playthrough. It's a beautiful thing. See you. Okay, I'm going to go home, sleep, in the, and then head out back to that substation in the morning, and I'll meet you guys over there. All right, guys, we have a couple mole rats here, and we've got that quest from Moira. I have to use the repellent stick. I guess we just whack them with it. Gotcha. I killed one dog and one raider on the way up here, too, so nothing too major. Okay, so are we to conclude that this doesn't work very well? Because <laughs> they kept attacking me. It actually kind of looked like that one may have started to run off. I th is this another one up here? I think so. Hmm. It looked like it kind of started thinking about going away and then, but then it attacked again. On seven more mole rats, optional. Okay. I like to do the optional stuff too because usually we get better rewards. Uh. Greyditch, it's burning. It's burning. Oh, right. You're that nut job that was freaking out about great itch. Okay. So here's the substation. What we're going to have to do is we have lock picking 21, but we're going to have to take a uh, locksmith reader so that we have 25. Okay. Okay, so we're supposed to be finding fuses. Um, <clears throat> so you mean to tell me we went to all that trouble to come in here for nothing? I don't know how we would... I don't know how we're supposed to get to that stuff. Maybe we're not. Is there a ladder? To get up there? 
There's a, a body up there, too. <coughs> Excuse me. Gazoon tight. Well, that seems like a waste of our time and a magazine. So this obviously is not the substation we're supposed to go to. It said it was to the northwest. Um, I think it was, yeah, entry four. There's a power substation to the northwest that might have some industrial fuses. All right, so we are... Oh, you know what? We're kind of, we're actually more to the northeast. So it's probably going to be somewhere over in here instead. Yeah, I wasn't. Okay. Well, shoot. That sucks that we wasted that magazine for nothing, except for maybe some XP. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's, um. Uh, is that a raider? Yeah, it is. It's gonna say, is there another one? Come on, come on. Here, let's go uh, here. I'll take a bunch of these expired stim packs. You want a little, huh? you want a little Oh, God, we're almost dead. Here. Aid. Uh... Oh, man, do I want to take a combat stim? No. I think what we're going to do is... That might addict us. Okay. Let's just take a normal stim pack. And a couple more of those and see if we can avoid her fire until we heal up. Oh, shit. God damn it. Phew. Okay. Are we still? Oh, we're still in danger. Don't know where from. All right, let's go into here. Aid. Uh, let's take this. No, I don't want to take. Why does the military bandage take our agility away? That's bullshit. Let's take one of those and one of those. Okay, now we're in caution. Let's switch back to this and reload it. And we have a hurt head, too. Okay, uh, aid. Do I have a doctor's bag? I don't have a doctor's bag. Oh, man. Um, no. I was gonna say, if we're irradiated enough, we'll start healing ourselves. Okay, let's um let's go to food. And let's have a Salisbury steak and some steamed Meyer lurk to start irradiating or uh, irradiating ourselves a little bit and Nuka Cola Dark. Oh shit, that makes us thirsty. No, I don't want to get more thirsty. All right, well, we're going to have to deal with head injury again for a bit. That sucks. There's a Protectron way over there. Okay, we're still in danger from something. I don't know what.
Right, it changed to caution. Seems to me like that protectron is too damn far away to be aggro on us. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run down to Seneca Station, see if we can get some repair kits so we can repair that 45 auto pistol. And then let's investigate more to the northwest of Springdale, uh, Springvale rather, uh, to see if we can figure out where that substation is. Because once we can get the power <clears throat> turned on in that place, then we can open that hydroponics area and hopefully start growing our own food. Okay, there's an enemy there. Nice. There's a super mutie over that way. I'd prefer to avoid them. Okay, let's try something here. If we go to stats, we don't have enough. Uh, we're not irradiated enough to, for the thing to kick in. So let's just stand in this water for a moment. Okay, good. So we now have uh, rad limb healing. And that should fix our head. Uh, it take it takes a little while to do it, but where are we at? Condition. Yeah, see? It's starting to fix our head already. Okay. I gotta say, that's pretty damn useful. <laughs> you know, the downside again, of it's a, you know, to get to that point, it's taken almost 25% of our health cap away, which is not useful, but it's a trade-off, you know. Yeah, that's all super mutant territory up there, so let's stay close to the river till we get to Seneca. Okay, something is... I have combat music. Oh, it's just a Meyer Lurk. Okay. Those things also suck bullets like crazy. Did we ever... I don't think we ever went down there. Let's go check that place out really quick. And in fact... Hit him in the belly. Oh, there's a bunch of mole rats, too. Alright, here. Let's grab this. Repellent stick. We got rad fleas. fuck does red fleas do? Work. We have less radiation resistance, luck, and barter. Okay. That's going to kind of suck when we go talk to uh, what's his name? The robot vendor. But... Got him. At least it, those things don't have a major impact on our combat ability. There's another wire work. Are we even hitting you? Yeah, I guess we are. Still in danger from something. Don't know what. Hmm. Excellent. Yeah, our magazine wore off, so we can't open that safe, unfortunately. Uh, 
Let's go check down here by this little pier. We'll check down here by the pier because we have no fear, even though there's some Meyer Lurk schmear. All right, I'll stop. Uh, nope, can't open that. Cram, beer, and a teddy bear. Because everybody needs a teddy bear in the wasteland. That's an average 308s. So love it. That's very easy. Okay, we can open this one. 556. Five, Very good. Let's make our way to Seneca. All right, we have a a trader. I see the trader's Brahmin and the trader's guard. Oh. Ain't none of my business. Wait a minute. Hold on. Put this away. Hey. Hey. I Look out. think what? Look out for what? I think I think he's bugged. Wait, unless hold on. Are you the traitor? Uh yeah, these guys are bugged. <laughs> There's something wrong with them. Okay. I very recently traded with him anyways. He's Wolfgang or whatever his name is. That's kind of too bad, though, because I left him with quite a bit of coin, but he's apparently not working, so. So we'll just go on to Seneca. Sounds like they're killing their requisite Meyer Lurk. That takes care of that. It's okay with me, man. It gives me extra Meyer Lurk meat. I gotta figure out how to... Well, I guess I probably need the recipe to make steamed Meyer Lurk. Um. Oh, shit! Murphy's dead? God damn it, you one ugly son of a bitch. Did you kill him? Probably the Meyer Lurk did. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, there goes our ability to continue selling. That duct tape's free now? Uh, sugar bombs to him. Do you have anything to say? You're looking for a problem. Well, Murphy's dead. That's a bit of a problem, don't you think? All right. Well, the most Why don't you look where you're going? The rest of this stuff is not available to us, so. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right. Sorry, Murph. So much for making Ultra Jet, huh? Okay, so unfortunately we've lost some points in barter. And we can partially make up for that by putting this on, but we can't really do much about it, so it is what it is. Step forward and identify yourself. Maiden. All right, so let's sell that. We keep this one we want to sell. Okay. Homemade submachine gun. Yeah, we're going to sell that. Pipe rifle. All of that can be sold. Oh, a Wasteland Surgeon outfit. Hmm. It gives us plus five medical. But it weighs two pounds, so I don't know. Is it, is it worth it? Nah, you know what? I don't think so. That gives us 645 caps. Um, now, what I want from him the most at 
or, or at least first before we buy anything else is the repair kits. Hopefully he has, oh, he does. Okay. So it seems like he always stocks four of these, which is amazing. I want those for sure. My cowboy repeater does 35 DPS. This one does 39, but it also uses 45 auto. Whereas this one uses 357. And we're actually, we actually have enough repair skill to make our own 357 rounds. So I think we're going to stick with the cowboy repeater for now. I'm thinking I'd like to get this P ammo here too. So how much, okay, that's going to cost me 232 caps just by itself. That's kind of expensive for us right now, actually. Okay, let's buy armor piercing 308s for our sniper rifle. And let's buy armor piercing 556s for our carbine. We only have 13 of them. Okay, so that gives us 18 sniper rounds, armor piercing, and only 13 of those. Hmm. Do we have armor piercing 45? We don't. We just have the P rounds. All right, I think I'm going to sell him the hollow points. I'm not... I mean, hollow points are useful, but, you you know, the toughest enemies are usually also armored. So, let's just get rid of hollow points. Well, get rid of as, as in sell them. And we're basically just going to use normal ammo and armor piercing ammo. That's the plan anyway. So I'm going to buy these 45 P rounds for 232 caps. That's expensive. Let's also buy some 20 gauge rounds from him too. And accept that. And that brings us down to 99 caps, but we have a lot of ammunition now. Okay. We got a nice new, very good condition, not perfect condition, but very good condition, special 45 auto weapon with a laser sight and an, a silencer. I love it. Thank you for your business. Howdy. Howdy. Now we'll eventually get repair up high enough to where we can pretty much just make our own ammo, but... Um, I... Well, now, if it isn't the little saint from the vault. We've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. What the... What? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the things that you do, and there isn't going to be someone who takes notice? Uh... Such a shame. I hear that you could have been something useful. Ah, well. Time to die. Okay. Um. He's armored. And it's, he's got a pistol on us. Yeah, fuck you, man. Ha! I love it when they go down fighting. Okay. Oh, Hold on. Now, what we need to do is let's get our. I hope. Can do do we have? Did I buy ten millimeter armor? Uh, uh armor piercing. Oh shit! I didn't. <laughs> okay. Well, let's just use the snake lore on him. With the P ammo. Oh, there's more than one. Okay. We might draw them in here and see if we can get some help. Oh! Help! God, I'm almost dead already. Those guys hurt. Um, okay, aid. Let's do, uh, let's do a combat stem for this. These guys are not messing around. Um, let's try a Solvitol too. And an antiseptic and a bandage. Okay. Come out, come out, wherever you are. 
Are these guys going to help me or not? Oh, Jesus. See, I just thought there was just the one guy. 